Hello. Today I'm going to show you how to apply existing graphics onto the perspective grid. Drawing directly onto the perspective grid can be a little clumsy if you are creating more detailed graphics. It is best to draw them flat off grid and then apply them to the perspective grid later. Here you can see the three sides of a tea box I've created before. The front side that will be applied to the left plane, the side panel that will be applied to the right plane, and the top side that will be applied to the horizontal plane. Before you start to place your artwork onto the grid, first make sure that each side is grouped together. This will prevent it from shifting. To check that, first select your artwork and then go to Object and choose Group or press the Ctrl and G keys on your keyboard. Also, it is a good idea to make a copy of your artwork in case you might need it later. After you place your artwork onto the perspective grid, you won't be able to restore the perspective affected shape to its original shape without the perspective effect. To place this flat design onto the perspective grid, first we need to activate the grid. Either select it from the toolbar panel or press the Shift and P keys on your keyboard. Let's modify our grid. Decrease the number of cells on the grid, turn the visibility of the horizontal plane to solid and bring the vertical extent down. Next, move your art closer to the grid, resize it if needed and let's zoom in. Now we need to activate the Perspective Selection tool. To do that, either select it from the toolbar panel or press the Shift and V keys on your keyboard. Make sure that the left blue plane is active and now click on the front side of our box design, hold and drag it onto the left grid. And of course you can resize it if needed. Next let's move the side panel onto the right plane. First activate the right orange grid and then click on the design hold and drag it onto the right plane. Let's resize it to match the height of the front side of our box. Next activate the horizontal plane and place the last part on top. Now resize it and position it to align with the sides. Next let's zoom in to check if all the corners are aligned. And if needed either use the direct selection tool to adjust an anchor point position or using the lasso tool Circle all the anchor points of the corner, then right click with your mouse, choose Average and click OK. And let's do the same with this corner. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.